Hi guys, I'm so excited for this video. I picked up some Mambi planners because they were on sale at my Michaels. I've been meaning to pick these up, but I just never got around to it and I'm so happy and excited to use these. Some of them I'm not sure what I'm going to use for, but others I do. So I picked up not one, not two, whoops, but three planners. Okay. So I got the undated like watercolor one. I got the fitness, is this a fitness planner? No, this is the, or, the recipe organizer. And then that one is the fitness planner. So let's get right into the unboxing. So first I'm gonna unbox this one here. So yeah, I went a little bit crazy. Let me just zoom you guys in. I mean, let me focus you guys. All right, there we go. So I did unbox these before, like just to take a peek at them, but I put everything back just so that I could relive the experience with you guys. So firstly, you get some stickers here on the side, and you also get the planner itself with some sticky notes and some uh, like page marker magnet things. So first, let's go through the stickers in this set. You get this sheet of gold foils with just a bunch of like planner related stuff like so excited, lazy day, celebrate, busy day. And it's really, really pretty. I want to keep my eyes peeled for these in store because I think they are cheaper in store on Amazon. Some of them are like seven, eight dollars, which I don't think is worth the price. So I will wait to find these in a store next up you get your date stickers because the this planner is undated so they give you enough stickers to last you to mark all your days and then you also get the months themselves to put on the tabs here and you get two sets like you get two of each month and you have a bunch of other stickers down here oops sorry you get a bunch of other stickers down here as well. And last but not least, you just get a bunch of these kind of quotations like life is beautiful, love your life, vacation, laundry, lazy day, me time. And then you also get the months in this really cool script here. So I really love these stickers, it's adorable. Um, next up is the planner itself. And you get some sticky notes. I haven't actually tested out the stickiness of these, but I'm sure they're good. Um, and then you also get these magnets, which just work like, let me actually take this off. Ugh. Oh man, I have like sticky residue. Oh no, it's easy to peel off. Okay, cool. Alright. Ah. Okay, whatever. I'll clean that later. But, okay, and let me just take this off. So you could punch this in and out of your planner wherever you want to. And that's really convenient. Yeah, these are so cute. I love it. But anyway, so these are the little magnets that you get. So this one says, hello. This one is just like this watercolor heart. Really cute. And then this one is just this polka dot kind of banner thing. Okay, so here is our planner. And it's so pretty. I think it's just like so calming and it just says stay happy and it's got this watercolor thing and it's pretty much like very watercolory all throughout so i'll do a quick flip through so here it says hello oh and then the back of this just says love laughter and smiles i don't know if you guys could see that but let's see here Okay, create beauty. Um, okay, so each month, the start of each month, you get one of these, which you have a note section, you have currently reading, watching, cooking, loving, listening, planning, focusing, going, 
celebrating, dreaming, thinking, crafting, feeling, drinking, improving. So that's awesome. And up here you just have personal goals, birthdays, important dates, quoted, and remember. And I really like this um, because the Erin Condren is just blank and lined. And I don't like that because I know it leaves room for more creativity, but I kind of prefer this. I think it's really cute. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. And I love the font as well. Okay, and then here are the months. So here's the first month. It just says heart and soul. And here is the layout. I love the font here. It's really nice. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep you guys in frame and looking up and down all at the same time. But yeah. Okay, so I totally love this. It's really cute. Um, and you also have a note section in the corner there. And this is so versatile, so you can use any kind of color scheme. I mean, there's like one color, but really you could use any color scheme and make it however you want to. Okay, so here is the weekly spread. So you have, it starts on a Monday, and you have your weekends blocked out in the color for that month. So that does differ from month to month and then you have morning afternoon not, uh no morning afternoon evening we're in along the sides here on both pages so you have that here as well and here which um i don't know how i feel about it i think it's i think it's cute i guess i don't know and there are no like header spaces so you just have that three long boxes and then at the bottom here you have like this washi strip like design which i think differs um yeah i guess the color is just different yeah so it's that same striped pattern but in different colors each month so that's cool and i'll just quickly kind of flip through the rest of these that's really pretty. I love it. Um, there we go. I just really love the um, look of this. It's so pretty. It's so much nicer than the Erin Condren in my opinion. You do you. That's super cute and super true. Compete with yourself, not with others. Also, so true. How we spend our days is how we spend our lives. And I like that there's like, they're all so different from each other. Like each of the months. I mean, some of them are similar. Like this is like pink and this is blue with a different quote. But some of them are just so different. Love it. Love it, love it. It's really cute. Um, and then you have some notes. Oh, you have one note section in the back here. And then you have a folder, which is really sturdy. And in gold foiling, it says, be thankful. That's really nice. And that is just the back and it says to be continued. That's awesome. So this is my first experience with like working with these. I think it's called Arc Planners. I don't know. <laughs> but um and I really like it. Like you can take the pages out and put them back in, which is awesome and not something you can do with the coil planner like the Erin Condren. Um I'm still not sure what I'm going to use this for, but my idea is that I'm going to use it as like a scrapbooking planner. I mean like a scrapbooking, yeah, a scrapbooking planner. And what's great about that is that it's undated and so I don't necessarily have to do it every single month. Like if I only want to do it for let's say December, I'll use one of these um, sections and I'll use it for December and then if I find that I don't want to do it in January, it's not like I'm wasting a whole section because when I want to start up again, let's say in February, I just use the next section because I always feel bad not using up the dated 
um, planners because, I mean, they're dated so you can't really use them again um, in the years to come. So it's very different with this. And I love that. This is so pretty. And if you guys find this for sale, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's a great alternative to the Erin Condren if that is out of your budget. Or if you just like it. I know people just tend to also like the um, the Mambi planners more. Okay, next up is the recipe organizer. I initially was not going to pick this up, but I saw it in the store and I was like, I want this. So I got it and it was on sale, so. And I don't actually have like a recipe system, so I'm really excited for this. Okay, so for the stickers, um, obviously they're more geared towards like a recipe kind of a thing. So you have like yum, add, tip, uh, the date that you tried it on, loved it, liked it. It's really cute. Then you have like thumbs ups and hearts, add, tip, note, family favorite, kid favorite, healthy favorite, weekend favorite, weekday favorite, meal note. Oh, these are so cute. Huh. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Nothing brings people together like good food. It's really nice. I love how they like incorporate a lot of like photographs, which you'll see I think in this one. Oh, this one's still bound together. Yeah, I think this was the one that I didn't open yet. And then you have like these which say enjoy, delish, love, so good, yum, all that jazz. Super cute. Then for the actual planner itself, you get these uh, page markers, which um, are also geared towards like food. So you've got like utensils here and like arrows. And you could just like write little notes to yourself according to each recipe. And then you get two, um, let's see if I can get this off without leaving any residue, yay. Okay, so then you also get Oh wow, you could see my tripod in the reflection. Anyway, you also get these two magnets here, which are really cute. So you have an arrow and then you have a white with black polka dots, which I think is my favorite so far. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, these are not like, these are easily going to rip. Well, this one is because the perforation is right there and I just tore it right now. Well, hopefully it doesn't tear, but whatever. Okay, so the so this cover says people who love to eat are always the best people. So that's actually really true in my experience, I think. So then this is the inside, which is so pretty. It's just got a bunch of like spices here. And it's just like such a beautiful photograph. I love it. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, so you have this favorite recipe collection belongs to, and here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says setting a table. So this is like a casual setting and this is a more formal setting. That's so cute because you know what? I'm actually not familiar with the formal setting. And um, you know what? This reminds me of that scene in Titanic for those of you guys who have watched that movie um, when Jack is like sitting at the table with Rose's like family members and he doesn't know like which utensils. I don't know why. I'm, it's okay. Anyway. All right. So here is the first section here. And this is family favorites. The tabs are right here. So this is family favorites. And then you have a quotation here. Oh, it's the same thing. Nothing brings people together like good food. And these are really like thick dividers. Is this thicker than this one? Yeah, I feel like the paper might be a little different. I don't know. But yeah, this is a really thick divider. Okay, so this is organized as recipe, ingredients, and preparation. Then on the side here, you have serves, main ingredients, difficulty, prep time, cook time, temperature, notes, and then serve with. 
And this is the family favorite section. Then you have main dishes. Another really delicious photograph. And oh my god, wow, that's interesting. So it tells you like meat cuts. So for beef, this part is chuck, rib. Wow, this is so informative actually. That's really interesting. Okay, so what was this section? Oh, main dishes, okay. And this is laid out in the same way as the family favorites. This is the entertaining section. Good cooks never lack friends. Same layout here. And then you have the slow cooker section, which I'm so excited about because my family recently got a crock pot and um, we haven't actually even taken it out of the box yet, but I'm really excited to try recipes in there. Um, oh, and for the crock pot section, you have this addition here in this section, which just has the crock pot picture and it says high or low, which I guess is the settings of a crock pot. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with crock pots, so yeah. Then you have healthy healthy fair and this is really cute first we eat then we do everything else eat good feel good yes i'm surprised they don't have like a calorie section or is that not usually something that's there i think that might have been a nice addition especially for the healthy section because i mean I mean, you could just write that in the notes section, I suppose. All right, next is quick and easy. Cooking well doesn't mean cooking fancy. And again, we're back to that same layout. Desserts, life is short, eat dessert first. And miscellaneous. Oh, and here you have another informative back, which is measurement equivalent, so you have like cups to fluid ounces to pints and quarts and tablespoons to cups to fluid ounces so that is super cool then in the back here we have another folder this one does not have gold foiling in it unfortunately but it does have a shopping list which seems to be stuck oh no well i guess that kind of took off some of the color there but you have a shopping list, which is already like punched with this, so you could just put it in um, whichever recipe. And then, oh, that is so cool. And it's then separated into dairy, produce, um, breads, grains, meat and fish, spices, snacks, and miscellaneous. That's awesome. And if you run out of this, I'm not sure if they have a replacement, but... That's really cool. I am so glad I got this. And that's just the back. Okay, so I totally love that as well. If you don't already have a recipe book, I think that's a great one to pick up. All right, this video is getting really long. But um, all right, so this is the fitness planner, which I'm really excited. Okay, I'm honestly excited for all of them. But this one especially because I've been wanting to start a fitness planner. And for those of you guys who watch my plan with me videos, you know that I track my food intake in my vertical iron chondrin in the bottom bar. But actually, um, there's only three slots there and I actually eat a lot more. Like I have a lot of snacks in between. And so this is going to come in handy and I'm probably going to stop tracking my food in my vertical iron chondrin once I start using this because, I mean, there's no point in being repetitive about it. But anyway, these are the stickers. This first sheet is all gold foil. It's so pretty. And it's just all very inspirational. It's got like, never quit, keep going, I did it. Um, me time. And then you have, oh, this is undated as well. So you have the same kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, you have the same kind of, uh, months written in italics and then you also have these for your divider sections here and you have two of each month 
Um, some more kind of workout themed stickers. So workout goal, uh, workout satisfaction, heart rate weigh-in goal, quick stats, time distance. These are great. Oh, I think you get a lot more stickers with this one. Two, four, five. You get five sheets. And with the other two, I think you got four sheets. Oh, but this doesn't come with the numbers. So, oh, the numbers are for, um, oh, I see. Okay. So the numbers are for the monthly view, I guess, but they don't include it in here. Wait, I just want to see how the monthly view for this compares to the monthly view for this. Okay, so this has dots, like circles in it. Is that showing up on the camera? Yes, it is. Okay, so this has dots, so you are supposed to write it in because they didn't include stickers for that, but for this, they did include stickers, so you could just put those in wherever you want. So that makes sense. Okay, anyways, back to the front here. Um, okay, so then you have some post-it notes, and this uh, theme here is like the crosses, so you'll see a lot of that. Um, so I love these. Um, these are the, oh god, these are the clips that come, oh no. <gasps> oh, I thought I ripped the, whew, I thought I ripped the bookmark there for a second. This was really a tough one. Okay, so you get two bookmarks, um, or page markers, whatever you call them. The first one is this cross one with little mini white crosses on them. It's really cute. Then you get like this rainbow banner here. Really nice. That. Okay, so this one says keep moving, keep active, and get fit. Again, with the crosses here, and it says, live well. I love that. And it says, this fitness log belongs to... Okay. So in the beginning here, you have a 12-month progress tracker where you could put in your weight. Oh, wait. Yeah, your measurements. So your weight, your chest, waist, hips, thigh, upper arm, and other. So I'm not sure that I will actually use this. Maybe just the weight because I'm not actually trying to um, lose weight really because I, I'm, I'm happy with where my weight is. But um, I think it's always still good to keep track of your weight because I my weight does fluctuate um, like five to seven pounds. And that's not, that's I don't know if that's good actually, but... I guess this is like a good way to just keep track of my weight. I don't know that I would measure my chest, my waist, my hips, thigh, upper arm, and other because I'm not really like targeting um, losing weight or losing inches anywhere on my body. So, I mean, I don't know, but I think that's really awesome that on one sheet you can see your 12 month progress, which is really great. So if you're serious about this, this is really great. Okay, so the first page here says, a year from now, you will wish you had started today. Very true. And the dividers, so you could just stick the month in there. So again, here is the monthly view. You put in your month here, you put in your this month's goals or notes, whatever. And then you put in your dates. And each month is a different color. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So this month is pink, and then this month is purple, so it kind of transitions. Wait, let me see if that's actually true. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's not true. It just, like, is a gradient. Whoops, never mind. Okay. So then you have your week on two pages, and it says weekly food and exercise log. You have your weekly goals, and then your notes. Then you have Monday to Sunday, and then the date over here. So you don't actually... Um, well, I guess you can put in the dates for each thing, but you could just put in, like, for example, like, November 7th to November 14th, whatever, whatever is one week, and put it there, and then that's it. So you have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and this is amazing, like, it's just so good to keep track of everything that you're eating. 
Then you have your calorie total here. I don't really track my calories. Um, I think instead what... Um, so I think this will just be a good way to keep track of what foods are not fitting well with my uh, digestive system and my body. So yeah. But I might also count calories. I don't know. Then you have your exercise routine. So I don't have a lot of time for exercise, which I know is like the worst thing to say. But what I do do is stretches and light exercising at home. So I will keep track of those here. Um, so yeah. And then there's water intake. I'm not sure how you put it here because it just says water total. So I guess you can write like in ounces or in glasses how much you drank. Or you can make like little... Um, circles or glasses or use a stamp and then check it off so that's awesome and I think each of the months are the same oh but then you have a monthly review page which I love and the questions include how was I successful what could I improve my accomplished goals what can I do differently and what motivates me and I'm not going to just use this like fitness wise I plan to also use it just in general um, so this is just kind of going to be like a well-being planner for me, um, and I really like it, so, you know, <laughs> there's that. And then, okay, so this says, be not afraid of going slowly, be afraid only of standing still, and the layouts are just the same. And you get wait, one, two, three, four, five, so you get five weeks in between each month. Then you have this one, this one. So this is more photographs than like paintings and whatnot. Oh, this is nice. Wash the weight of the world from your shoulders. Again with the crosses, some stripes, oops, quotation. Work hard and be proud of what you achieve. Crosses and you can't brighten someone else's path without lighting your own. That's really pretty. So yeah, that is it. Let's see if there's, a, oh, there's no folder here or no extra goodies. So that's it for the fitness planner. And I'm really excited to try this and all of my other planners as well. Um, if you guys have like a memory, a memory planner or a scrapbooking planner, please let me know what you guys and like how you guys use it or share your layouts with me because I'm really interested in trying that with this planner here and it'll just be kind of like a happy place for me and um, yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be really, really, really pretty. So let me know what you guys think about that and let me know if you guys are using any of the any of these including the recipe organizer or the fitness planner so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this haul and i hope this video wasn't too long but i did want to go into all of the planners so thank you again i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye